guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today, we're actually gonna be trying some of the new Fenty Beauty cream products. I've got the blushes, the bronzers, um, I've also got a highlighter, um, so we're just gonna like try these out. I'm gonna keep my base um, mostly Fenty as well. I'm so stupid, I, I, I threw away my um, Pro Filter foundation because I was like, I'm gonna buy another one. This one's really old, there's barely anything left, so we're gonna be using the hydrating Pro Filter, which will be a bit um, interesting because I didn't really get along with it the first few times I wore it. I've just got some coffee here, like, I woke up a little bit early. Right, let's jump straight into the video because today's a work day for me, so I need to get to work afterwards. So I'm gonna be testing out the Brow MVP by Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Black Brown. What I have been liking to do though is I use some gel on my brows. This is the got to be glued gel. I actually posted a selfie on Instagram and you guys were like, how the hell did you do your brows? And this is just how I did it. So simple. So I take some of the gel on the spoolie. Okay, so like so. And you just really wanna pull the hairs back. Taper them off on your edge here. You just wanna let that dry a little bit. I definitely like these kind of brow products because they're very like, they're harder but you can really create like that thin brow or hair like line. I'm just filling it out where I'm a little bit more sparse but honestly because of the gel I just like that kind of like fluffy look. I'm just going to grab some concealer I'm just going to clean the, this bit here. You really can see each individual hair rather than just them being block brows. And I'm more on the natural side, like these are really nice. And the other day when I went to Tesco, I got complimented on them. And then I got a bit gas, so now I'll just keep on doing them. I really do want to swatch each of the blushes, so I'll try them on my face because I know you guys do prefer that. I'm just first putting some Philodelm Emulsion by Embryo Release. Then I'm going to apply some of my Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating at Primer. I really do prefer this one. Blend this all over. Then we're going to go in with our foundation, which is Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I use the shade 330. It's a little bit on the warmer side. probably gonna have to reapply this once I've tried on all the blushes then we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter concealer in the shade 310 I actually really do like this doe foot applicator I'm just gonna use a sponge so when I'm about to film these cats want to eat they want to go in the litter box You know, this will be a good way to test out the foundation because I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the, the, the minute. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day to see how it wears. We need to get into that inner corner. Okay, now onto the exciting part. So I do have two of the cream um, cheeks out freestyle cream bronzers. This is what they look like. I actually use a similar shade to chocolate, which is this shade right here, um, in the Huda Beauty Tantor. Actually, quite similar. So I could get away with this one. The shade lighter uh, in the Huda one is, uh, I think it's light and it's very, it, it works, but it's not dark enough. But with the Fenty one, you do have Teddy, which I feel like is a beautiful shade. But I don't know, we'll swatch them on my skin to see. What will work best so this is the shade teddy oh that's actually quite dark i really like that shade just so you can see chocolate it's dark that's way darker than the cream my favorite cream bronzer at the moment is the tantal by huda beauty i use it literally every day um, and just to compare it Oh, these two are the, actually the Fenty ones are cooler than the, the Huda one. Huda actually has more red in it compared to the other two. Just a little close up for you guys. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try out Teddy. If it's too light, then we'll go in with a bit of chocolate. So I'm just going to use a brush. 
feel like this one will work, you know. I didn't think Teddy was gonna be dark enough. It's definitely one I had my, uh, my eye on. So I always prefer using a stippling kind of brush to blend out my cream bronzers. So far, I actually do like how it's kind of slightly giving me a sun-kissed bronze touch to my skin. But I don't think it's dark enough, so I'm going to go in with um, chocolate. This one's like a nice contour one. Nose. You guys know I've been loving to do my nose lately. So the formula of these are very, they're more on the oily side compared to the uh, matchsticks which are definitely more drier in formula. And you know, chocolate didn't actually um, apply that dark on me. It just blends so easily. I don't know, when I um, use a sponge to blend my cream bronzers, I just feel like it's not precise enough like it's just going everywhere but sometimes I do like to just finish up on it like this so that everything's just pressed into the skin gosh those birds are going in yeah when I dip my brush in I get like a little light kind of streak but if I go with my Huda Beauty one you you best believe like the pigment is way more intense that's why I have to be really careful with this whilst this you can be a bit more free-handed which I actually kind of like there's less chance of you applying too much and having to try and fix it all. I'm just going to blend the cream contour. I'm actually really loving everything right now. It looks really glowy, really like skin-like. I love the bronziness of it. Okay, I'm really happy with those so far. Let, now let's move on to blush. Honestly, those cream bronzers blended beautifully. There's no patchiness. It didn't remove any of my makeup underneath. It just blended so nicely. These are the cool shades I have. Don't they look so stunning? So starting from this one here, we've got Fuego Flush, Rose Latte in the middle, and Drama Class here. Um, so I'm gonna try all three of those for you. They look so nice. So here's a quick swatch on my hand so you guys can see. A Fuego Flush has a little bit of a shimmer to it. A Rose Latte is a bit, it's definitely more of a matte sheen. Um, and then we have drama class Again drama class doesn't have any like glittery bits in it, but the fuego flush definitely has it has more of a metallic finish when you um, Swatch it on the hand. Okay. Now it was time to put it on the skin. Oh my god fuego flush is definitely not That bright So it's not that pigmented There's definitely a glow there I'm not going to put too much because then that's a bit much there, but on me it's just a slight, it's very subtle, which is a shame because I was really excited about that. There's the slight peachiness, honestly. Okay, that's Fuego Flush. I think I'm going to use Try My Finger with the next one. Next is Drama Class, so let's try this. Oh, I really like that one. Who would have thought that would turn out like that? Yeah, I definitely prefer it to the Fuego Flush, but yeah, that's really pretty. I like that one. I think I might keep um, Drama Class on today, but we're going to try finally Rose Latte, which I think is more for every day, but even Drama Class is really nice. I'm like literally taking all my makeup off right now. I will reapply everything afterwards, like the bronzer and stuff, because now it's just like all messy now. But we're gonna go in with Rose Latte. Okay, I'm using a clean part of the sponge just to press that into the skin. 
that one's very pretty i'll definitely be wearing that it gives like a natural flush to my skin tone so this is like perfect for my skin color um it's like a bit brownie it's like a brownie rosy shade it's pretty can you see how nice that color is actually i'm gonna take it off i'm gonna keep drama class okay next i have the diamond bomb cognac candy all over diamond veil definitely more on the glittery side but i'm not mad at it this would be like really pretty for the body definitely more glittery for sure there's like speckles of glitter i think i'm not gonna go overboard but that's what it looks like i'm just gonna swatch it for you guys so you can see I don't know if you can see the specks of glitter. It's definitely giving me more Hollywood kind of like red carpet vibes. I don't know why, it's very glittery. But on the skin, when it's like compact, when it's like concentrated in one area, it actually looks really pretty. But um, in certain lights, you'll definitely be able to see some of like those specks of glitter for sure. So I don't think it's a highlighter for everyone. Would I wear it? I think I would, you know. And the shade is really pretty. I know they have a lighter one as well, but it definitely feels like butter. It's not chalky and it just really like melts into the skin. It's not just sitting there. I'm, I can only say I'm really happy so far. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm now back. This is the final look. Um, I put some of the highlights on my lids and it's actually really stunning. It gives this like wet lid look. The highlight actually feels like a putty more like. So yeah, when you stick your finger, it like makes a dent. It's really cool. Um, I like this. This is really nice on the eyes as well. But on the skin, it's absolutely stunning as well. I pop some more blush on top, even after powdering. And it's not even like going patchy or anything. I really do like the shade Drama Class. All the blush shades I have are definitely ones I would wear. Um, I feel like Fuego Flush would be a one that I would wear on my no makeup days because it's a bit more like subtle and if I have a full glam, it would. I don't think it will suit. Um, the two bronzers are just absolutely stunning. I love them. I've just loved everything. Even the brow pencil. I will list all the products that I have on my face um, in the info box. So yeah, it's now 7... 40 a.m. We're gonna wear this for the rest of the day. Wish me luck. I have to go work. I really don't want to have this video up for you guys today because it's just been so requested. Um, so I'm gonna try and wear it to like six or five-ish, and we'll see how it wears. But so far, it's just really glowy, really skin-like. Let's do a quick close-up for you guys. Um, I'm really excited to see how this will wear out through the day. So I'm going to head off now and I'll see you guys later. I don't even know what's wrong with my hair. Just ignore the hair, guys. Um, I put it in a bun all day. And I haven't strained it, so it's just got dents all over. Bloody hell, how can one's lips be so dry? Alright guys, so it's now 8pm. I've been wearing this for well over 9 hours now. Um, and I can say I'm really happy with the way my skin looks. The only thing that was really bugging me throughout the day was smile lines. I just kept going like this. Um, but right now it actually looks really, like my base looks so nice. It's really glowy. I can still see the blush, kind of. Um, the contour's there really strong. Um... I think product has come off my nose a little bit but that's just normal with me to be honest but the way that like the bronzer and the blush has worn throughout today um and i've been doing like learning dances for tiktoks so i've been sweating all over the place the way that these have been um wearing throughout the day is just amazing it makes it just gives a soft glow to the skin um it hasn't budged it hasn't gone patchy the color is still there i can see the lilac i love drama class so much i'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10 i'm so happy with these one thing i want to know i love the full frontal mascara by fenty beauty it gives loads of length it gives a bit of volume but to be honest throughout the day it was leaking onto my under eyes and it's not the first time it's done that i love the mascara but it's really annoying when like when i look into the mirror and like i've got so much black under my eyes so i don't think i'll be repurchasing this mascara for that reason but yeah i'm happy with everything else guys i love the concealer i love my hydrating primer um i think i'm gonna be using this more 
as always I'm going to do a little bit of a close up what do you guys think this is over 9 hours I, was, I think it was like around 7.30 10 11 hours i don't know but i'm really pleased with this i love the cream products i love them so much anyways that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this review i'm really happy that i managed to try these and swatch them for you guys i know i don't have all the shades but i think it's better to try some only like a limited um quantity of shades that are suitable for my skin tone rather than swatching all of them because the lighter ones won't even show up on me so there's no point guys so yeah i'm really grateful that the team sent these to me and I, I i really really do love them i am a huge fan of fenty like i've bought so much of their stuff anyways i'm just really happy definitely a 10 out of 10 i would recommend these to you like a hundred percent especially if you have dry skin like me my skin is so so dry so yeah I think if you're going to use this on oilier skin, you definitely need some powder, like translucent powder to set on top. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss on any of my videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.